three key reasons why you may still be single even when you desire marriage. Hi, Uchuluk Zepa is my name and I just stopped by here to speak to the subject I just mentioned. You know, I understand and appreciate the agitation and the pressure that single people go through. Um, I understand this particularly that I sit in counseling and speak to a lot of people. We get online comments and people just want to know. This is particularly challenging when a believer says to you, I have been a Christian, I have prayed, I have waited, and the frustration runs deep. You see, one of the things we cannot do is we cannot undermine the pressure that people go through when it comes to subjects and conversations like this. So you see, one of the things I want to do here is to give perspective. Because a lot of times what is lacking in the lives of people is actually perspective. Because once you get perspective, you have the capacity to understand the pathways to what you desire. But let me lay a foundation very quickly that gives, you know, a broad perspective of where we are headed and the solution to the poser or the question. Before I'm far gone, I have a four-part teaching on our YouTube channel, Relationship and Marriage, Getting Married, Getting Married Made Easy. Four-part series. All right, I did four key teachings that I believe that every single person, whether agitated or not agitated, need to pay attention to in unraveling how, all right, you navigate the journey of getting married according to God's pattern, according to God's will, and according to God's way. Now, having said that, I must also say, all right, that when it comes to the subject of the agitation for marriage, we need to get three key things in perspective, and when we get them in perspective, you either fall in one or more of these three key things. Now, when you understand these three key things, you would now see what the pathway all right to what you must do would be because until you understand all right what the issue is you may not be able to discern what the solution is so the first thing i will say is that some people are single because nothing is wrong now this is the hardest you would have to convince uh some single people about because, you see, the issue is not you, the issue is your perspective. And why do I say so? Somebody is rightly single at 30, somebody is rightly single at 40. Why do I say rightly single at that age? Because God's plans and thoughts for us are not our plans and thoughts for ourselves. So there are people who have no problem whatsoever, but because of the perspectives they have to lie. Life has told them when they graduate, when they are done with service year, when they are done with so-and-so, they should be married. So their expectation is set not by the plans and patterns of God, but by the dictates and cultures of man. You see, for this kind of a person, one of the things you need to do is to find your peace in the place of prayer. Because until you are stable with the Lord, you are going to remain agitated for no reason. All right, so category number one is pe are people who are rightly single, where they are, no problem at all. I say no problem at all. But you see, no man can convince you that you have no problem until your heart is open to receive of the Lord that there is actually no problem. That's where God begins to give you the peace that passes all understanding. All right, so you must uncover this in prayer. Because God's thoughts are not your thoughts, right? His ways are not your ways. So you may be imposing on your heart the ways of man and getting agitated. Number two, people who by reason of demonic influence are not getting married. You see, I don't want to pretend about this. We live in a world controlled by the spirit realm. Right? This world is controlled by the spirit realm. You see, but the good news is you don't have to be in the dark. If there's a resistance in the spirit, you know. Except your spirit is not active. Except you don't have a good prayer life, you don't study the word and you're not open to God's spirit. You see, the spirit of God cannot cohabit with a curse and just stay silent. 
Do you get what I mean? So some of us need to pray and discern in our hearts if there are any resistance in our lives. You see, now again, like the first one, it is the Spirit of God who will give you a knowing in your spirit. It is a discernment of heart that will reveal to you, all right, that there is a resistance. All right? So when you come to the conclusion and an understanding in your spirit that there is a resistance, you begin to address that resistance. And you see, all power has been loaded into the name of Jesus, that at the name of Jesus, every knee bows. So I'm not here trying to glorify a demon, a witch, or a resistance of hell. In fact, that's why we have our book, um, The Marital Release. It's a 15 days prayer course. I mean, it's not all about just chasing demons. Ah, no, that's not what it is. It helps you pray right, the right prayer. Because I noticed that a lot of single people do not know how to pray right. All right? So it's important, you know, to prayerfully discern. Is there any resistance in the spirit that I am not addressing? Because the moment we come to the conclusion by faith that there's a resistance we must uh, deal with, we must address that resistance in faith. Number four, number three, number three and the last. Some people need to check their character. You see, one of the hardest things to tell some single people is to let them know that they contribute to the process of being single. Because you have single people who, you know, are not approachable. You have single people who get into relationships that do not have the right framework all right, or mindset that keeps a relationship. You have some single people between approachability and capacity to maintain a relationship. And that's why you need to go get knowledge. You see, this will take humility. Beyond prayer, this will take humility. And let me give you one secret. You see, any area of your life where multiple persons have complained, you are likely to be guilty of what they are saying. Because you have single people who defend common observations about themselves. See, if two or three or four persons have ever held the opinion that you are an angry person, chances are that you are. And what you need to do is to go back and humbly examine yourself. Even the Bible says, examine yourself whether I see be in the faith. So it's important not to pretend about certain feedback in life and examine yourself i really hope i really hope that this video becomes a good guide for someone out there who has questions and they can prayerfully discern where they are again we have a four-part teaching on our youtube channel um getting married made easy i encourage you go watch all four episodes there's a playlist particularly on our YouTube channel, Relationship and Marriage, Getting Married Made Easy. Until I speak to you again, God bless you.